It was nothing to think about at that time because I had no reason to suspect that he wasn't my child when okay. I signed the acknowledgement of paternity. Um, the state of California in the year 2020 made $430 million off of child support payments. And if some of you don't know, you have been homeless. I have been homeless because, because of, I can't of pay, the child can't support. Pay my bills because my checks have been garnished. 66 and a third percent of my check. And I can't pay rent. I can't do nothing. I don't have a life. In the case of Brewington versus Lee, when it comes to three-year-old Giovanni Lee, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Lee, you are not the father. I told you. Hold up. I already knew. <laughs> I told you. Don't look at me like that. I don't know God's Who plan. else? It was you did you just do that. inject God in this? I, I, I'm, I did not put him in this. I, I'm just saying. Okay, Miss Canada. All right. You brought this case before the court. What's going on? I'm seeking child support and back pay from this man. Okay, just straightforward. Just That's what I like. Just get right into it. How old is the child? The child is now three years old. Three years old. And I have not received any child support. In three years? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Sir, is there a reason you haven't given her any child support in the past three years? Uh, yes, ma'am, there is. What uh, is that? We've been discussing uh, the paternity obligation. Okay. Uh, under the circumstances, uh, you know, I... I don't think I was the only person having a fling with Rocky at the time that, that you know, she and I had that time together. And, Excuse uh, me? I, Are you implying something? Well, what I'm trying to say is, is that um, um, I understand that you may have been seeing some other people in addition to me. And, and the reason that I haven't provided... <laughs> well, those are rumors. I understand First of that. All. I understand that. But, Second but of you all. haven't complied with my request for DNA tests either, and that's my key. Is, is that if, if I have an obligation, I'd like to make sure it is my obligation and not the obligation of some other father. Well, maybe you should have been obligated to your wife whenever you were having an affair with me. You know, uh, you're right about that. And honestly, so you're, is, you is are that, admitting that you're married? Yes. Mm, okay. And I've told her. I've told her that, that we had this fling. Uh, you didn't tell me you were thing? married until after. That's correct. That's correct. I did not tell I'm you. I'm sorry, that. I won't disrupt you guys anymore. Go ahead. Okay. So, you know, from my perspective, Your Honor, uh, I certainly understand the situation. Uh, I'm not trying to be uh, hard-hearted, so to speak, about this, but I think that there's some other questions that need to be answered before we agree on paying any kind of support, because at this point, we haven't confirmed whose child this is. I already like the way this man is ready to take ownership of whatever happened between him and her, especially if there was a child born. This man seems to be very coherent about the fact that he wanna make sure before he even sign a birth certificate that it's his child. Unlike this lady who is trying to put this man on child support and haven't even gave him a DNA test yet. You already know at this point, she's thinking about nothing but this man's money. I don't think they have anything to do with child support. It's more about you guys' backstory, but that has nothing to do with me. However, has this man taken a DNA test at all? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Um, did he sign anything at the hospital? No, he wasn't acknowledging there. Acknowledging that he was the father? Okay. So he does have a valid point. Before we can actually place him on child support, he either has to accept parentage, which according to what I'm hearing, you're really not accepting it. He's in denial about his affair and doesn't want his wife to find out. My wife knows. Oh, yeah, she right. knows now. Ah, uh, he's uh, lying. You told her? Yeah. I would have heard from her by now. I work with him, ma'am. Oh. At the welding place? Mm -hmm. I'm a receptionist there. That's how we met. You're her direct manager. Oh, okay. Yes, Judge, you know how this goes. It happens in the workplace every day. Women are always going to be hypergamous, looking for the top male they can find in any environment that they are in. So, yeah, um, he's entitled to a DNA test. Sure. Okay? So before we can move forward with anything in terms of child support, looking at your financial documents you provided, he first needs to get a DNA test. 
So what I can do is you guys go and get the DNA test, then you can come back at a later date, possibly, if he's the father. Um, if he's not the father, you are more than welcome to bring back as many people as necessary. I'm not definitely, I'm <clears throat> not implying by any means that what he's saying is true. Right, he's but definitely if he's the not father. the father, you mm -hmm. can bring back as many people as necessary to get DNA testing and we actually find the father and place him on child support. Oh, I know who it is, so that's not necessary, but thank you. Okay, okay. Is there anything further? Your Honor, uh, can we get your assistance in, in having a, uh, this thing compelled so that um, we can get this DNA testing done expeditiously? Oh, yeah, most definitely. And it will be done through the Attorney General's office okay. because they are actually on site in the courtroom and it will be much, I mean, in the courthouse rather, and it will be much easier and free to you all to go ahead and use their resource. Okay? If there's nothing further, you all are dismissed. Thank you. Rocky? You're welcome. If I have obligations here, I'll stand by. I appreciate that. Okay. And you see how she tried to throw in there talking about some he was married. Like she wanted to throw that in there to kind of embarrass him so the judge would just go with her request. She had that little smirk on her face. She was just trying to play on the system because she saw a woman judge. But she's the one that need to be shamed because she was sleeping with her married boss at her job. But she trying to shame him in court. Woman refuses so, to get so the NA test. Like, do you think that I was cheating at all? Our whole relationship, we've been together five years. You always know where I'm at. I'm always at the house. If I do leave out the house, I'm with you. You honestly think I was cheating? I don't think you was cheating, but what's wrong with me getting a DNA test? Why I do you need a DNA test? I just want to know for a fact. You do know for a fact. I don't know for a fact. You don't know for a fact that this your child. That's what the DNA test for. No. Exactly. The DNA test is for to make sure it's 100% fat. Like I said, 30% of men who take DNA tests find out the kid. But these are the laws that's been set up in this country, and we know why they've been set up that way so the courts can profit off of it. Because this lady here talked about how much money courts make off these child support cases. Check this out. So, in a few seconds, you guys are going to watch a uh, video clip of a father who signed as the legal father of what he thought was his child and he explained that he didn't really know what the repercussions were because he didn't think at the time that the child wasn't his which rightfully so i mean if you're signing you're thinking and you're with that person you're thinking that's my child but i want to throw out some statistics that i thought are um rather earth shattering or very mind opening just to kind of piece the puzzle pieces together of this whole child support system. So last year, America, all 50 states, collected roughly about $32 billion, $33 billion in child support payments collectively. Um, the state of California in the year 2020 made $430 million off of child support payments. And if some of you don't know, a majority of the states in America do not pay 100% of the child support payments to the child, meaning they're keeping a portion of it. Not only that, the state of California, for example, I'm, and I'm mentioning them because they seem to be the most corrupt out of the child support system, and I may be wrong, but they charge a 10% interest rate on any uh, past due child support payment, so they just keep tacking it on, right? Another thing that I found interesting was that the federal government, and I already knew this, but I didn't know to the extent, actually reimburses states 66% of the child support they collect, meaning they're getting the states are getting back 66 cents per every dollar. Now let's talk about how child support is really for the children, though. It was nothing to think about at that time because I had no reason to suspect that he wasn't my child when okay. I signed the acknowledgement of paternity. And um, so let me ask you a question about the acknowledgement of paternity, because we and you have to forgive me. We abbreviate things a lot. AOP. Okay. All right. Yeah. Did you know at the time you signed the acknowledgement of paternity what that actually meant? I, I guess I should say yes and no. OK. What do you mean by yes and no? Because at the time I felt I, I, I didn't know that it could possibly hold um, basically even if you find out that you're not the father 
uh, that it would still hold you legally responsible for for that child. And so that's the part that I I didn't know. And I think the reason why I didn't know that is because I didn't go into it thinking that that what ended up happening would have happened. All right. Uh, All me, right. Meaning, when I signed it, I was hundred percent sure that my son was my son. Dang, you can tell he didn't even know. Uh, didn't even have a clue that the child wasn't his because a lot of times a child can look like a person you know have these same features and unfortunately it's not actually a lot of men's child guys make sure you always require a dna test don't let anyone shame you into taking your woman's word just be sure so guys go get a dna test because unfortunately you never know frame for a pregnancy that i didn't commit i had legally admissible evidence to prove that i didn't do it and my attorney told me we had less than a 10 percent chance of winning with two dna tests proving that i didn't do it we subpoenaed the mother and her family members and only then did we find out she actually got pregnant six weeks after I broke up with her. That is not the story that she told. How do you have less than a 20% chance of winning when you can prove you didn't do it? You can prove the other party knowingly and willingly concealed material facts from you. This led to a journey of battling through the courts over a five year period, child support lawsuit, two bench trials, appeal to the court of appeals in the state, appeal to the state Supreme Court, and then an appeal to the United States Supreme Court because the fraud have been perpetrated on me on my family and on the child that is super scary to have to take a, a paternity child support case all the way to the supreme court they really need to fix these laws that's on the books today in the states and really correct this and on memorial day weekend i was down in florida i called her phone she is out on the lake in the middle of the night by herself on an antique wooden boat with her ex-boyfriend while her children are up on the bank. Your wife at the time was cheating. Yes, ma'am. While you were on runs as a truck driver. Yes, ma'am. You have been denied by courts the DNA test that you've needed yes, for, for 20 years. something years. Yes, ma'am. You have been homeless. I have been homeless because, because of, I can't of pay, the child can't support. Pay my bills because my checks have been garnished. Sixty-six and a third percent of my check. Oh my God. And I can't pay rent. I can't do nothing. I don't have a life. And I have got the proof of my rares when I'm back owed. Jerome, let me see that, please. And I can see this makes you emotional because. And that's even crazy that women are denying paternity tests, but they demand child support. Like, why is this law so backwards? The law should not be able to make a man pay for the cost of court and he haven't even proven that the kid is his. These are the laws that's been set up in this country and we know why they've been set up that way so the courts can profit off of it. Guys, we gotta make sure we keep advocating for mandatory paternity tests done at birth. This is something that's not only gonna save men a whole lot of money, but it's gonna save some men their freedom as far as jail time. They are locking men up behind child support, taking driving license, and these guys are later finding out that the kid was never theirs to even start. So if there's one thing we wanna keep our foots on in 2024, it's pushing your local and state level officials to change the law in the books when it comes to child support and paternity tests done at birth. But hey, I'm gonna start the video right there. You guys drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about mandatory DNA testing done at birth. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video. Thanks for watching to the end. I will see you in the next one.